So, uh, how about those Game Awards, huh? Did you catch that? Well, let's talk about them anyway. What's going on, people of the internet? Today, I was supposed to upload my Christmas video. Uh, I was going to upload it this week. I'm going to upload it next week instead, so I have a little more time to work on it. Plus, last night, I was watching the video game awards. Uh, my friends at Charge Shot were streaming the event live. Some, something came up that I feel like I need to talk about. So the video game awards usually happen on Spike TV. And this year they decided not to do that. I don't know if, I don't know why exactly they decided to stream it instead. Now from what I can tell, the show seemed to be pretty much what it's always been. Not much of a change. You had the same dumb gags any award show is gonna have where they try and make something funny or try and make something really deep. And this one, it seemed like they just kind of did both and it kind of failed. That pays respect and that they, that they completely understand. Ces musiciens a grandi a joie à la Sega Genesis. Yeah, there's no subtitles, there's no, there, there's nothing. There's, like, I don't, what is, is it a joke? Is it supposed to be deep? Because he starts off making it sound deep, and then it ends up just bombing. He had studios, content creators, and streamers all getting props for their accomplishments, not least of which is Dr. Disrespect. It's my honor to uh, announce the first award winner of the night for Trending Gamer. No, Jeff, what are you doing? Trending Gamer is Dr. Disrespect. That would have had a lot more impact if you knew how to open an envelope, Jeff. I have to say thank you to everyone that fills up the arena on a daily basis. The Slick Daddy Club. One of the most touching things I saw during the event was an indie developer named Ninja Theory. Their voice actor for the main character of their game was actually a video editor at their studio. And the game award goes to Melina Jurgen's Hellblade. I'm actually Ninja Theory's video editor. I'm not an actress at all. And she won the award for voice acting. That's awesome. Now from what I've seen of the game she did a fantastic job so I'm not really surprised but it's just awesome like she wasn't even and she wasn't even thinking about when she started working at this place hey maybe I'll become a voice actor she was a video editor but then there's also the weirdest thing that happened. There's always something weird that's gonna happen at one of these award shows. You never get away from it. Aside from the Death Stranding trailer, which was very weird, that had a very uh, artistic and creepy vibe, but it was clearly intentional. What we're gonna be looking at now is the point of this video. Jeff Keighley is hosting this event this year. Now, Jeff Keighley, if you're not familiar with him, he's been doing stuff back since G4 was around. When G4 was around, he actually did things on that channel. The, uh, the, the, the Video Game Award he is the host. He's the host. I hadn't even seen, I don't think there was a co-host for him. Just him. And boy, he, he handled most of it like a champ. But this guy, I don't know how anybody could have handled this guy. Joseph Ferris from Hayes Light. He's a good looking fella, good looking lad. Uh, you'd imagine he's probably gonna just promote his game. Well, uh, maybe. So how does it feel to be back at the Game Awards four years later? Look at me, man. How do I look? It's like, I'm telling you this, okay. How do I look? I'm telling you this, okay? I'm not sure how his looks have anything to do with how he felt when they started working on the game or when they revealed that they were working on the game years ago. But how did you feel? There are like passionate people, there are crazy people, and there is me. I'm so passionate to be here. So are you saying you're passionate and crazy? Uh, or are you saying you're neither passionate or crazy? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he's... Let's see, let's see if he explains it. I'm so excited to be and meeting this industry. Yes. This, this is kind of insane. Like, we're here, we're serving this. Look, the Oscars should f themselves up. This is the shit. I'm telling you, this is, this is the real shit. What is this? Is this uh, the interactive gaming? Look, I'm just saying this. Let, let me talk. I'm uh, sorry, I'm taking it yes. out. Let it's me just good. give me a minute. He's completely off the rails. He is completely off the rails. He's, he's not talked once about the game that he's there to promote. He's said nothing. <laughs> Jeff's got this big smile on his face like, it's okay, I, I'm, I might lose my job. And this guy, this guy is just like, he's just zeroed in on whatever point he wants to make. Look, okay, can you swear here? Can you, you swear? swear? Okay. Funny. The Oscars, you know? <laughs> the Oscars! <laughs> you! I'll tell you! Can you swear here? So he's, he's already planning something he's gonna say. He's already said F the Oscars. The Oscars should F themselves. And he looks like he wants to say, just keep it under control. And the guy just goes right in for it. He just goes in on it. He just went so far, so fast. And Jeff is just like, oh no. Shouldn't have told him we're on the internet. Oh, there's no censors here. Oh, I'm gonna get so many hate letters from parents whose kids are watching this on their cell phones on the couch while they're watching TV. Oh my word, this is, you this is probably on the front page of YouTube right now. Oh, 
there's going to be so many kids watching this. You, you feel it have, in your heart. You did a lot of films, and now you're in games. Yeah, games, right? you know, I, I've done six features, but I don't yeah. care. But, okay, we're here to talk about a way out. Let's do yes. that. Yeah. I did six movies, but uh, I don't care about those. We're here to talk about the game. You're going to want to keep avoiding the topic. Now let's get into your game. I'm All sorry, right, I'm, so. a little bit, no, no, I'm, right. I'm a little bit jet lagged. I'm sure, you're jet lagged. That's what it is. So, Joseph, a way out. Co-op yeah, yeah. game, you, sh you, you showed it at E3, yeah. people are excited about it. You got a new clip of it tonight. What can you tell us about what Oof. we're gonna see tonight? What can I tell you? Yeah. My friend, I'm telling you. Yes. I mean, I don't wanna make fun of his language barrier. That's not what, I'm, that's not what I think is funny here. What I think is funny is he's prof he's clearly supposed to be professional. But they put somebody in, in this position normally that can handle it, that is ready to handle this, to, to actually go up and speak about this and give a precise point. Does he own the company? What can I tell you? Yeah. My friend, I'm telling you. Yes. All right, this is what I can tell you. Look. You told us nothing. You told us nothing. You're still not saying anything. <laughs> you just said three different lines of nothing. Jeff is <laughs> Jeff is so sick of this at this point. He's like, look, you've got to give me something. Please. My job depends on it. I might have a wife and kids. I don't I don't know the man. I don't know. I'm not gonna assume he does. Look. <laughs> so much silence. <laughs> this is what I can tell you. Look. Here's the thing. <laughs> this is insane. If if the whole world tell me mm -hmm. your game is shit, I'll tell them, no, it's not. What? The first thing he says about the game. The first thing he says about the game is, if the world tells me it's crap, I'll tell them it's not. Why would be why would the first thing you say about your own game be if everyone thinks it's crap, I'll say it's not. Now you look like you're just pompous and not willing to accept criticism. That sounds like you're, you're concerned that maybe people are gonna think the game is trash. Right. Uh, that's how much I believe in it. Okay. All right? I'm telling you, like, if you play the game yes. from the beginning to the end, yes. and you see what it is, it's impossible you don't like it. He's still not saying anything important about the game. He says, oh, if you play the game from the beginning to the end, it's impossible you won't like it. Right, but do they have to finish the game to get to that point? Because they could not like it anywhere between the beginning and the end. They could start the game, hate the controls, and say, yeah, this game's not for me, and take it back. Impossible. Make sure to play with a friend that's not a run-and-gun split screen yeah. shooter. It's impossible that people won't like the game, but at the same time, only specific people are going to enjoy the game. Your friend can play with, with you oh, yeah, free, yeah. right? Yeah. This is the thing. Yeah. And this is my idea. It doesn't have anything with the EA shit going on, yeah. with the loot box and stuff. Okay. No. Oh, boy. Yeah. Look, look, look. I'm going to say to you one thing. I'm going to say to you one thing. EA has been very good to me. Yes. And, and uh, to be honest with you, they're getting... Because it's nice to hate EA, blah, blah. I don't care about that shit. Oh, boy. Now he's just... Now he's on EA. Listen to the crowd. Listen to the crowd at this point. Going on yeah. with the loot box and stuff. Okay. No. I wonder who's uh, making his game. Oh, look at that. EA is producing the game. <laughs> what I'm saying is this. All publishers f*** up sometimes, you know? Yeah. That's how it is. Mm -hmm. They f*** up. Yeah. But that's what it is. Like, in this case, it's like they've been treating me very well. EA's been nice to me. It's nice to hate on them, whatever, you know, blah, blah. I don't care about that stuff. So you, you just brought up uh, the loot box fiasco about one of the companies that's behind your game existing. <laughs> I think you do you're done messed up, boy. You done messed up. Here, he seems like he's kind of making a point. Okay, I don't know about all this other stuff. I'm not involved in any of that stuff. But between me and EA, I have not had any issues. They've treated me nice. Now, the problem is, dude, I'm pretty sure most of the problems that people have had with EA is consumers hating their business practices. As far as I know, there's not a, a, a common issue of... Uh, uh, developers hating EA for the stuff that they're doing to the developer. This is my favorite part. For the game I'm doing, you know? And it's coming so we, soon, right? Yeah, it's coming. Uh, I'm talking too long. That's Let okay. Me talk a little That's bit. Like, so, he knows he's talking too long. He makes a joke about it. I'm talking too long. But then keeps going. It's my time to shine, man. You know how proud I am to be in this industry? You flew along. Like, I know like you did. <laughs> what the heck is going on? What is going on at this point? I am lost. <laughs> what is happening? But if you keep talking, we're not going to be able to get yeah, to the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go, Jeffy boy. There you go, Jeffy boy. Way to go. Threaten you're not going to show the game. At least he found something to reel the guy in. Think, I think you should uh, announce the date and we should yeah, show yeah, the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's look at the trailer. We can talk after. Or... No, we can't. This is okay, it. Okay. Let's so check this... out the trailer. No, no, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to talk more. He wants to talk more. Should we, uh, should we show the, should we reveal the, should we, should we get, should we go to the thing? And then we come back and we talk more? Yeah? No? Eh? No? No? Yeah? I, I just burned a whole bunch of bridges? Yeah? Oh, okay. Okay, I got you. Wait, wait, wait. One second, one second. 
He cuts him off. They're cutting to the trailer and he cuts him off again. Before we talk to him. So we have something that uh, is, we call it the friends, but it's my idea from mm -hmm. the get-go from the first. I'm a passionate man. Nobody will ever, even if I do AAA, this okay. is an independent game. But even if I do that, it will always be the game I want yeah. it to be. All right. And we'll come to the point soon. A way out. We got to go. Here we go. <laughs> A way out. Coming out. I'm lost. I don't know what he just said. Even if I do AAA, this is an independent company. What does that have to do with anything else? Dude, you just rambled for almost four minutes. And most of it was not about the game. You didn't sell the game at all. You mostly said, even if you people think the game sucks, I'm proud to be here. Look at this place. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like it if you liked it. And let me know down below what you thought. Have a nice day.